As a matter of fact, there are so many people in the world are trying to immigrate to the U.S. with the hope of finding a better life and a better education for their children. They always think that America is a country where people can easily achieve the American dream. As for me, I come to the U.S. with so many dreams and hope, but as soon as I get here, I realize that it would be really difficult for me to reach all of my dreams. In October 2008, I moved to the U.S., leaving my home and my mother in Vietnam in order to attend school in the U.S. and to have a more successful future. My parents separated for years before, and my father had moved to the U.S. to pursue a career in computer engineering. As an only child, my mother had gave me all of her love and attention, but I was not doing well in school at the time. So, She had decided to allow me to move with my father to the U.S. so he could support me in my study. I felt so lonely because of the different language, so I could not make any friends in school. When I was in class, I could not understand what the teacher was saying, so I started to earn bad grades. I was also teased by all the native speakers because they didn't know English. Since that time, I realized how much work and dedication it would take to learn English. At first, I tried to memorize the vocabulary, and then I tried to read some books that taught me how to communicate with others. But I'm a shy person, so it seemed impossible for me to start a conversation with others in English. After school, I usually attend for tutoring when I have some problem or question about my homework. My teacher helped me a lot by explaining for me anything that I don't understand and also encouraged me to study hard so I can get a good grade. My teacher was the biggest motivation for me to overcome all my challenges. I also joined V-Club to build connection and get support from my peer. I always try to keep busy by learning English so I don't have time to think about my mom because it saddened me to think that she's so far away from me. Because of all my hard work and my teacher's support, I reached my goal of earning an A in all my classes. And now, I'm trying to keep that high grade point average, which helped me to go to the college that I choose in order to achieve my goal as a fashion business owner in the future. I want to be a professional fashion designer because when I was young, I was always dream about clothes and had to make a perfect clothes for other people. My other reason for choosing that career is because I want to be like my mom, a successful fashion business owner. With my financial success, I will help poor people around the world. I would especially like to help people in my country to become educated and have a good future. At first, I was thinking about doing the this documentary about my mom's story life, but it was so hard for me because I cannot get a hold of her since we are currently on each other half of the world. The problem has inspired me to do the documentary about myself and how I was struggling to adapt to a new American life without my mom's support. At the end, I want to say that even though life seems hard sometimes, but if you really put in effort and working hard for it, especially not giving up on anything, You will overcome and get what you want. Just like me, if I have not a chance to make my decision again, I would choose to come to the U.S. and do the same thing I've done because I believe that all the struggle and the hard work I did will pay off.